No, 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 ceiling. It was going on. What is going on guys? So I travelled to Dusseldorf in Germany to meet up with the powerhouse Dimitri Ochoff to find out what his equipment setup is. I strapped on the TTD mask and headed to his training ground. So Dim is in the world number one club, a World Cup winner, Olympic bronze medalist and quite simply a beast on the table. So Dimitri's setup, he's got an Inner Force ALC style blade with Dignik's 09C on both sides. So a quick few specs then, we've got the 09C, it's harder rubber than 10 5 it comes in at 44 degrees with a sticky top sheet, whereas the 10 5 comes in at 36 degrees and has a non-sticky regular top sheet. So there is some considerable differences straight off the bat. So Dimmer is known for his relentless backhand and sheer power play. Here I join him in the Dusseldorf Training Centre where I use the same blade and rubber combo and test it against 10 5 Let's go! Now before we get into the main part of this review, I just want to say it's really mind-blowing how much spin and quality Dimmer puts on the ball. It's honestly almost a different sport these top pros play. Incredible. So guys, having used the 09C for a few months now, it's quite a bit slower than 10 g 5 it doesn't rebound as quickly, it doesn't have that catapult effect. I thought because of this, some pros wouldn't use it. To my surprise, Dimitri is now using it on both sides as well, and also Team Mobile. This is what's good with 09C, is it has the power. Because obviously you use 10 Geo 5 which yeah. is very popular. But it's amazing that many players now move into 09C. Yes, very different. 10 Geo 5 very quick on the first two meters, but slowing down after. What well, was 09C is more? It's more like, yeah, it has the, cur especially the curve, the length, the ball is long. On the first one and a half meters, it's a bit slower and then it gets faster. As Dimitri mentioned, yeah, the 09C definitely comes with the bat slower than 10 g 5 However, the control is really high when you accelerate fast. Because of the grippy top sheet, it allows you to have greater control at top end shots. You look too stable. It's like playing against a machine. No, I played badminton with you. I made you tired. It's a hard sport, yeah? It is. Many people think table tennis is easy, man. It's so hard. <laughs> I use six shirts to practice. It's such a tough game. <laughs> yes. Ah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, Dan! I needed Down one. Done before. I needed one. Yes. <laughs> Next time I'm ready. <laughs> oh, Dan! In your opinion then, would you say the Dignic series is better than the Tenergy series? Uh, in terms of, uh, the ball stays longer in the racket. If I play a weak player with less spin, Tenergy is really good, amazing. But if I, you play like Shushin, you need something which can neutralize his quality of game. And the ball stays longer in my racket, so I have more possibilities to neutralize his spin. And Tenergy, let's say it's like, in and out and in and out. You do like super rotation and with 10 or 5 I need to find the right angle. If I don't, I would miss. And with this one, I can also find the wrong angle and still put because I feel like, oh, it's wrong and then I correct and then I play. Ah, okay, you can change yeah. it last yeah. minute, yeah. yeah. Oh. Good, good, good then. Yes. Yeah, the, the real key attribute to Dignix 09C is that because the ball stays long on the rubber, it allows you to handle incoming spin very easily. It's simply much less sensitive to spin than 10 Geo 5 Here on the backhand, we're both counter-spinning really effortlessly. To my surprise, I was able to handle Dimitri's spin and keep the ball on the table well. Normally, what, what, what I really enjoyed on backhand is when I try to push and then the opponents open and I try to counter loop. This is something that works very well. You are active, but I take over immediately. Yeah. This is what I mean. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And this is, seems like, as you said before, I just go for it, I have the confidence. Yeah. But it's not such a difficult ball now as 9 or C to 
counter-attack. Before it was harder, you have to really see the right amount of spin you put in the ball and then put the right timing and angle to it. And now you just go for it. <laughs> ah, good boy, good boy. But see how you had me here and I still could yeah, yeah, control yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. For the hard balls, yeah. it's a help. When you are in good position, it doesn't matter which rubber because you would make a good spin. It's about the hard balls. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey. oh. Yeah, nice. And you don't need to make much effort it's no, using, no, no. The, no, using just, the ball. Yeah, just yeah. use it. If you counter loop, it's so fast. If you get a dead ball, it's uh, not easy to give a lot. Then you'll get more with energy. Yeah, it's energy, you can really just crunch it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Dimitri's backhand flicks are ridiculous. And this is where the 09C excels over the table just due to the grip. Flicks and spinning the ball is fantastic. Don't get me wrong, 10 g 5 is very good in this area too, but 09C is best in the short game department due to the control and stability. Yeah. 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 Oh, good boy. Come on. For me, when I serve uh, with 10 I think sometimes with 10 it gets more spin with a softer shot. Is this correct? Um, you, like, you know you with 10 you can make this. And it's good, right? Yeah. 10 is faster, so it's easier to bring spin into the rubber with less effort. You do less effort, on the surf you get more out of it with yeah. energy. And with 09C, you really need to do it, but you're capable of doing more. That one, you get more when you do less, yeah. but you get less when you do more. And this one, you need to do more and you get more. But if you do less, you get less. So it's really up to you. Oh. Oh, it's amazing. That feels good when you do this. Yeah, it feels right. <laughs> yeah. The vibration. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So of course, like, you also really need to do something. If you wouldn't do anything, it's not so good. This is why I think Tenergy is so popular because with Tenergy, you can sometimes not do much and it has kick of spin. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has this catapult in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And this one you have to bring it yourself, but you have more possibilities. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice, good slip. A lot of spin. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm just going to do a quick zoom in here on Dimitri's grip. Yeah, that is Dimitri using pen hold, and I tell you what, he's world class at that too. Stay tuned for the one set showdown, coming soon. Ridiculous! I tell you what, it is ridiculous how relentless Dimitri plays. He always gives 110%, doesn't matter what the ball is. It's just, it's quite remarkable and it just gives you absolutely no breathing space whatsoever. Anyways, back to the comparison. Here we have the T2D rubber ratings and we'll start off with top end spin. Now when it comes to top end spin, both these rubbers are absolutely fantastic. I think at the very top end though, the 09C just edges it, has a higher arc, and it just, it's just a slightly more effective shot at the top end. But again, both these rubbers produce a lot of spin. Where they do differ is the speed. Tenergy is just the clear winner here. It's the benchmark when it comes to fast rubbers really. And it just has that natural catapult effect, you know, with minimal effort. The 09C gives you a lot of pace, but you do need to accelerate on the ball. Moving on to the short game. I prefer it in the short game, the 09C. The flicks are fantastic. Just around the net, it just is tame, so you have lots of control there. With Tenergy, it's a bit more pingy and requires more of a precise shot. With the 09C, it's less spin sensitive, so you just have more ease around the net. So flat hits and smashing, it's quite self-explanatory really, 7.5 to 10. Blocking, there's not a lot in it, but Tenergy is faster, so less movement is required when blocking. Now counter topspin, we're giving the 09C a massive 10 here. You can see why Dimitri's using this on both sides for this very reason. So you don't need to be extremely precise like you do with 10 g 5 Finally, the control. Both rubbers, very similar in this department. The 09C just tops it due to the advantage it has in its short game. 
Now, I wouldn't give the O9C a, a 9.5 or a 10. You would think it would have a higher control rating, but because it has such a high arc, it does mean you do need to have good technique to control it when you're in these attacking rallies. So there we go, guys, the Dignix O9C versus the Tenor G05. Hope this review has given you a better idea of how both rubbers perform and how they stack up against each other. And again, a massive thanks to Dimitri for his time in this video. Hope you've enjoyed him in it. And uh, yeah, he's a top guy. Wish him all the best for the future. Guys, be sure to like and subscribe for many more videos that we'll be releasing over the next few weeks. We've got some really cool content for you, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.